Hello YouTube, what's up? Uh, time for me to introduce the new addition to the driveway. As a proper petrol head, I never thought this would happen, but, um, well, at least I thought I was a proper petrol head. Um, welcome to my new car, which is a 94 amp hour BMW i3. Here it is in protonic blue. Uh, with 20 inch alloy wheels. Let's have a walk around the vehicle. The protonic blue version has this great accent here whereas the other colours have a blue accent. Uh, 20 inch alloy wheels on the rear. The back of the car. This section is actually glass. Side of the car. I've uh, got the privacy glass on the rear, comfort access, again 20 inch alloy wheels. Uh, we've also got the BMW uh, LED um, adaptive headlights. Um, the front kidney grille here is also in this frozen finish, whereas on the other i3s, or the other colour i3s, it is blue. I really like the Protonic Blue, it was, um, wasn't my first choice of colour, um, but we'll get onto that a bit later, I thought that the fluid black was the best, um, but basically what happened, my girlfriend and I took one for a test drive, uh, thought it was amazing, um, the car was going to be for her, uh, she decided that she wanted a uh, fluid black one. And I thought, well, I'll get one for myself as well. And we couldn't have two cars the same spec and the same colour. So I went with the uh, Protonic Blue. Anyway, let's have a bit more of a closer look around uh, the car now. Um, it has um, tyre pressure monitoring, um, which you can access through the um, iDrive system. This is the range, ex range extender model, so in here this is where uh, you would put your petrol um, which powers the 650cc uh, generator in the back of the car. These black wing mirrors with uh, indicators in them. The indicators are quite cool because they've got this little extra piece on the side here so you can see that they're definitely on when you're in the car. Uh, it's kind of handy. Um, and then in the back here just open the car. Uh, this is where you charge it up. The new 94 or the new uh, 2017 model year range has um, the direct um, current chargers built in. Uh, there's like a little illuminated strip around here so when you plug the uh, charge leads in uh, and based on this information on the side here it will tell you what's happening uh, yellow blue charging green fully charged and obviously you don't want it to be the red one these caps are like out of a soft plastic material so um, you know you won't scratch your paintwork which is obviously a well thought about item Let's just close that uh, right have a look inside the car. I just locked it because um, we went with a comfort access package um, which means you don't need to take the key out of your pocket uh, you just hold the door handle and then it opens up for you which is kind of handy. Um, so with the i3 the uh, rear doors are suicide doors so just on this handle you pull this and this opens up the car, giving you really good access to the rear. Uh, and it's a pillarless design, which I really like. I think it's such a cool car. Um, the life cell, as you can see here, is all made out of uh, carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Uh, the interior spec that we went for is the uh, Dalbergia. Dal I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, dark brown leather, which is tanned with olive leaf extract. Uh, so let's just jump in the back for starters. 
and behind the headrest here there's like a little handle that you can pull for better access but in actual fact the access is quite good anyway you don't really need to use that but anyway let's jump in um, there's actually quite a lot of space in the back headroom's excellent um, view out of the back of the car uh, and then we just close the door just pull it up here and then in we are uh, so I've got my driver's seat quite far back because that's how I like it but I'm six foot and there's still just enough room here for me um, I'd probably move it a bit further forward if I had a passenger in the back um, but yeah it's got good access a couple of cup holders uh, down here uh, but the back of the car is definitely uh, a two-seater uh, obviously because of the cup holders uh, there's not a third seat and there's only two seat belts in the back okay so that's kind of a bit of the inside of the car right let's just jump out so you push that forward and then you pull this lever and then out you get one thing to remember uh, with passengers is you need to make sure they close the back door before they close the front door. Otherwise, you could make a right mess of your doors. Um, what else should we have a look at? Uh, let's open this up and then open the other side. Again, comfort access just means that you don't have to get the key out, which is nice. And there we have it, you can see from one side of the car to the other. Completely pillarless design. I really like it. All right, let's go and jump in the, uh, the driver's seat. Okay, so uh, let's close the door. Right, here's the inside of the cabin. Um, like we said earlier, we have the uh, dark brown leather interior. And this is the 94 amp hour uh, version, which is the 2017 model year. Um, there's not really any cosmetic changes as such, um, but the wood trim here is now a dark wood trim rather than a light wood trim. Um, and, most importantly, so I should put my seatbelt on, just let that warning go off. Most importantly is, how do we get in there nicely? The range. Um, so, as you can see down here, it says 99 miles of total range at the moment. It says 54 miles uh, on the range extender, and it also says there's 45 miles left of um, battery power. Uh, now let me just change that into the Eco Pro Plus mode, and then that means we now get 63 miles on the, with the range extender and 52 miles worth of battery. Uh, you can see up the top here, it's got 88.5 miles. That's the total um, range that we've been in this car, uh, but I charged it up with 40 miles on it, um, so it's done 48 miles, it's still got 52 miles on the battery to go, and um, we've not really been taking it super easy, I've been driving it mainly in the Eco Pro mode, um, but a friend came around last night and we gave it a few blasts, because this thing really is quick and good fun to drive around town, which I never thought I'd say. Um, got the lovely big uh, professional media system here. Uh, just have a look at some of the switches, um, heated seats, driver and passenger side, um, aircon, your aircon dial here, uh, your aircon settings, heated windscreens. Uh, and then standard info here for uh, one to eight buttons uh, for storing preset radio stations and so on. Um, 
So, for those of you that know me personally, or don't, uh, let's just have a, a chat about uh, why we decided on a BMW i3. Well, my girlfriend was looking for a fuel efficient car, and I'd always thought that they're quite a cool thing in terms of uh, a technology point of view. However, um, I thought the looks were a bit questionable. Anyway, we uh, decided to take one out for a weekend. BMW are very accommodating. Um, they allow you to hire them for the weekend if you show an interest uh, for free. And um, yeah, so we uh, picked one up for the weekend, uh, took it out for a drive, uh, and I couldn't believe the power of it. Now, in the past, I've owned some nice cars. I've had um, Porsche Boxster S, uh, picture here if that comes out properly um, I've had a Porsche 911 Carrera S picture here if that comes out properly um, I've also had a Ferrari 458 Italia for not a great deal of time but picture here and link to that video uh, if that comes out okay I've still got a Caterham R500 um, so I do like my uh, petrol cars I was also looking at a BMW uh, an AMG uh, GTS uh, but I found with big Mercs they usually lose their value quite quickly um, so I decided against one of those um, and yeah here we are I now own a BMW i3 um, we ordered one um, for my girlfriend and she went with a fluid black option and I went with the protonic blue I really like uh, the blue um, it's the same blue that's on the i8 um, and yeah, I really, really like this car. Um, it's the first thing that was different enough to interest me. Um, and the technology, MPG, obviously, it's quoted as 468 miles per gallon on um, an equivalent electric electricity versus um, petrol basis. So um, yeah, it's a really, really cool thing. Um, I think that's the end of this video that I'm going to do but afterwards I'm going to do some other videos about driving the car so please subscribe to my channel um, I'm going to do a couple of videos with the protonic blue and the fluid black car as well so that you can see them together perhaps decide which one you think is the best and leave some feedback in there in terms of the color choice um, I've also got a drone so I'll get that out and see if I can do some sort of aerial footage of them driving around and stuff like that so uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the um, quick tour of my new car. Uh, I'm really, really happy with it so far. And um, I guess electric is the future. Uh, and there we go. So uh, bye for now. And um, yeah, catch up with you soon. Cheers.